dokie. Documenting life. Okay, I just had a thought. Uh, so today my pain was manageable, which <laughs> in chronic pain world means that it was there, but I was able to ignore it <laughs> yeah, most of the day, at least. Uh -oh. So I got, I was able to do some light gardening and be relatively active uh, and went about my day without having to stop which means I probably paced myself okay cause which is a good thing anyway because today was more manageable uh it was a pretty good day so, but it, I was just thinking about how it sucks that even on my good days, I don't get to really enjoy them because I'm like the whole day I'm just like gaslighting myself like, oh, I'm not really, uh, you know, I'm not really disabled. I'm like, I'm fine. I like if I just... do this, or if I just do this, then maybe my pain will go away and it'll be fine, and <laughs> it's like, uh, sorry, I keep, t keep going in this, like, cycle of, like, cause, yeah, when I have a good day, then it, like, negates all my bad days, <laughs> it's like, I have one good day, so that means that I'm fine. Because it's hard for me to, like, remember, like, even yesterday, you know? Because I'm just like, oh, actually, <laughs> if I really think about it, I mean, like, yesterday my pain was really bad. The day before that, my pain was really bad. The day before that, my pain was really bad. But I can only remember today, so I'm like, oh, everything's great. Everything's fine. This is a okay level of pain. I can, I can live with this. I can work. I can do normal things, I can go for a walk, but had I tried to go for a walk today, <laughs> guess who would have figured out that they cannot go for a walk <laughs> and just have everything be okay? This person. Because I'd be going for a walk and like I'd get maybe to the end of the street before my legs give out and that would be that so that's all I wanted to say <laughs> just complain that even when things are good they're bad <laughs> no but it does help mentally too have days where I can focus less on the excruciating amount of pain that I'm in and I can actually focus on something else so anyway today was a good day so yeah um we are just uh, patiently waiting for this supposed doctor appointment that I booked like a month ago because it was the soonest appointment for April 19th which is still like a week and some days away and yeah and I anyway yeah it's been like I think a month and a half of waiting for this appointment <sighs> and four months of paying $480 a month for nothing because I can't start going to doctors or doing anything until I go to a primary care doctor and I 
It's taken me this long to find a primary care doctor because it's a lot of work and I called like 15 different doctors in Denton that take my insurance because I found them on my through my insurance search thing All right, so I know they take my insurance but I called them and they're like oh uh do you have marketplace insurance yes oh then we're not accepting new patients in that case <laughs> they're just like they just don't want me they just don't want me as a patient because I guess doctors get paid less or something I don't know I don't really care I don't have that energy to like research that but anyway so uh, the short version of the story is that I called a bunch of places that took my insurance, but they were either not accepting new patients, or they weren't accepting new patients if you have HMO insurance. So, anyway, so I got through to this one place, and I don't know if they booked the appointment by mistake. I'm like half expecting them to like have scheduled it and I'm gonna like call ahead of time so I don't waste my time going all the way to Flower Mound for no reason but yeah I half expect like to call them and verify that my appointment is still happening and then be like oh just kidding we forgot that we don't have any more spots for like HMO health insurance new patients Fingers crossed, I can actually have this appointment, <laughs> my first appointment with a primary care doctor. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so I started, I started a binder. Oh, uh, I should, I would show it to you, but I, I'd have to get out of bed to do that. And I can't, so, um, yeah, I made a binder with only research uh, like articles and stuff printed out and it'll be where I keep all of my medical stuff so it's all in one place to minimize my anxiety because my anxiety is high and because I can't remember shit so yay uh what else mm, I think that's it made a binder um, yeah. I also got my first vaccine dose. Um, a week or something away or ago. A week? Two weeks? I don't know how long it's been. Um, of my first dose of the COVID vaccine. And it went okay. I didn't die, so success. And so now I'm halfway vaccinated. Uh, okay. I'm gonna keep watching Avatar now. Okay, goodbye.